What's up guys? Uh, Nick here from the Average Biker Garage. And this is obviously not a motorcycle. So what we got here today is a rear subframe from a BMW E30. Uh, my buddy Tyler, he was a uh, the guest on episode four of the podcast um, from Crank, Yank uh, Crank Yankers Racing and Torg Trading um, with his Crank Yankers Racing he races uh, BMWs on, I, I can't remember the name of the series he races in you have to go listen to the podcast he explains it all there but he races BMWs, um, and he needed, what is this? It's a tow and camber kit from, I can't remember who it's from. I'll post it in the description below. But he needed this welded in, was looking for a, for a decent welder to do it and couldn't find one so he brought it to me and figured I could make them stick together long enough until he could find a good welder to actually do it. So that's uh, what I'm doing today, welding, welding in this tow and camber kit for the uh, BMW E30. Alright, so for the inner brackets this controls your camber so you want the oval the slot to be going up and down and when you get your control arm back in here that'll be able to move it up and down to control your negative and positive camber now, a lot of the videos and uh, other things that I read online said to put the hole at the bottom uh, well my buddy doesn't Wanted at the bottom because he doesn't have an issue with a lot of uh, negative camber, so he wants it in the center. That's where I'm putting it. I also read that they want you to put this bolt in to hold it in place. That's fine, but when you do that, you can't tell where the slot's at. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna put. Um, line it up, line the stock hole up in the center and put a couple of tacks on it and then then I'll use um, my digital level here and I will actually level out the two um, new brackets I will zero it out on the back of the mount here and then run a piece of steel across here and actually level it that way I'll show you guys all that. So, so anyway, here's your camber. I got this one in place. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a couple of tacks on it real quick, and then um, yeah, get the other one up there and mounted. Hey guys, uh, just wanted to jump in here real quick because I did a real shit job of explaining exactly what I did um, as far as leveling out these brackets. So I just kind of wanted to explain to you. I took this digital level that I got. You can pick them up on Amazon. I'll post a link below. But I stuck it on the differential cover here, or the differential mount, and zeroed it out. And then I took it and put it on the top of these little brackets. And... Uh, made sure that they were level with the differential um, bracket here. So as long as they were within a degree, I called it good and welded them in. So I was editing the video and just thought I did a real shit job of explaining that. So I wanted to come back and interrupt the video and let you guys know exactly how I did that in case anyone was curious. So back to the video.
I totally lied. I got this one tacked in, used my clamp, clamped it in place, got it where I liked it. And then I used this bolt and it actually centered this other one up right where it needed to be. So got this one where I wanted it, put the bolt through, tightened it down, put a couple tacks on it, checked it out, looks good. So that's how we did it. So what I'm doing for the toe adjustment, I'm leveling Taking my digital level, zeroing it out to what are these differential bolt? I think that's what they are. Anyway, zeroing it out there and then making sure that those mounts are at a 90 degree angle. Zeroing it here, flipping it here, making sure we're within a degree. So, once I get this one tacked in, I'll uh, run the bolt through and that'll square up the other side. So, let's uh, get that one tacked on. There you have it guys, the uh, camber and toe brackets are all welded up. Uh, I still have to take, take my die grinder and uh, clean out the holes, but I'm not gonna show you guys that part. That's uh, long and boring and really loud. So, uh, this kit isn't too bad to install. Like I said, the, uh, the instructions leave a little to be desired so I just kind of winged it uh, there aren't a whole lot of videos or um, uh, things to read uh, tutorials directions out there for it so um, just kind of did like I said leveled everything off of here off the differential bolts the tops and uh, hopefully that works uh, if it didn't work, I'm sure my buddy will have it back here and I'll be cutting it apart. So uh, I'll let you guys know for sure. So I know this isn't typical uh, motorcycle stuff, but I appreciate uh, appreciate you guys watching. So uh, if you're new to the channel, check out my other videos and um, subscribe. You never know what you're going to see on here. So thanks, guys.